Hey, I appreciate you following my channel. I just wanted to invite you to a couple of things that I'm really excited about. Number one is my real estate sales business in Utah. If you are looking to buy or sell real estate across the Wasatch Front in Utah, give us a call at 801-675-8570 or you can check out www.the-wgr.com. If you have referrals for me and my team here as well, we'd love to do some business with you. If you're a real estate agent and you want to increase your revenue, increase your skill set, and just improve your business all the way around, you've got to get a coach. I highly recommend that you go to www.fearlessagent.com. It's the most effective and affordable real estate sales coaching and training on the planet today. And I've been part of that organization for over a decade now. It's the greatest thing I've ever done for my real estate business. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and we'll see you soon. What's up guys, Colton Lindsay here with another video and podcast coming at you. Today is Skill Set Wednesday, so what's the topic to today? Well, it's simple. It's what I like to call the Smart Week. Learn that from Fearless Agent and tra uh, Training and Coaching with Bob Leffler, and it's something that me and my team use every single week to make sure we're getting the most out of our weeks and our days and our minutes inside of not only our real estate sales business, but all of our businesses and our entire freaking life. If you're new to this, make sure to like, comment, and share below, and click that subscribe button, and share this with other people that you think it can create value for. So, number one thing is, what is Smart Week? I'm going to give you an overall thing before I run down my list here, but no, it, it, it's, it's time set aside every single week for you to work on your life and on your business instead of working in your life and in your business. We know we must take massive action to conquer fear, to conquer doubt, to conquer worry, to conquer any of our challenges, we just need more action. However, it's getting clear on the action that we're gonna take that is extremely necessary. So, Smart Week is about two, three hours once a week where you lock yourself into a room and, 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 and maybe a coffee shop or your home office or out in the park or in the grass, but you get isolated and you detach and get disconnected. And you're gonna evaluate your previous week and the week going forward and what you want to create and change and transform in your life and your business. Because if you don't take massive action, then you're never going to create new results. And in order to create new results, you need massive action. And massive action is only head up because of your emotion, belief, or thought that creates you into action. So, going forward in the next seven days, if you want to take massive action, you got to have massive clarity on your thoughts and your belief that's going to be completed. Number one thing to do during the first few minutes of your smart week is to just relax and let the bullshit float away. Okay, And this is where you can get really, really centered on who you are and what you want to create. And remember, on the emotional guidance scale, you've got to push up to the positive feelings, the positive expectations and enthusiasm, excitement, the feel good zone. So we're going to start off after that. By, after we neutralized our energy, we're going to go into and build it up by listing out in our journal all of our positive affirmations and victories for the week. So if you signed a contract, you're writing that down. You sold seven houses, you're writing that down. Your daughter did two back handsprings in a row, write that down. Spend five minutes, ten minutes just writing down all of your victories for the week. And if it pops up during this time that you want to say, oh, but I slipped here, I failed there, Shove that shit to the side and focus on your victories. This is about getting into a good space right now. It's not about bringing yourself down. Step number three is you're going to go straight to your numbers trackers and you're going to decide if you are lying to yourself, if you are telling yourself the truth in how much action you took in the previous week. See, all of your action can be tracked. You can track the number of hours prospected, you can track the number of contacts made, number of appointments set, gone on, listed, sold, closed, paid, you can track the number of days you go to the gym, you can check the amount of time that you worked out there, you can track the number of days you drank your green juice, you can track your meals, what you ate, you can even get really in depth 
on your macros and your micros with your nutrients. There's so much you can track. So I always go to, what are you tracking? And for me, most important is my real estate sales business. So I'm tracking that. I'm tracking my numbers tracker. You can actually get a copy of the exact one that I use directly from my website. I believe it's on sale right now for $97. Today, you might see this video or podcast in the future and, and, and the price might be different. But today, go check it out on winningdinnergame.com forward slash shop. Look for the numbers tracker. I go to that first. Part of my numbers tracker includes also my budget, which I'm always going to go over and make sure I know where every dollar is spent, and then any other goals that I'm looking at, like tracking right now for me is the number of green drinks or number of days I'm drinking my green drinks and getting 100 to 125 ounces of liquid into my body. That's important for me to track, so I'm looking at it. Okay. The other thing that I just started tracking is I want to do three days a week of HIIT training. If you guys haven't noticed from my videos. I put a little bit of weight back on it and I want to take that off and so I created a plan to take the action and the action puts into the reality based on my focus. Got it? Hope this is helping you. After that, I'm going to review my 7, 30 and 90 day goals. Where do I want to be in 90 days? Where do I want to be in 30 days? Where do I want to be in 7 days? What does that look like? And I make sure that I'm writing those goals down. So for example, if I'm looking at my 90 day goal. I'm writing down my 90 day income. I earned $150,000 in the next 90 days. I earned $300,000 in the next 90 days. I signed 17 listings in the next 30 days. Whatever it is, I'm writing it down as if it was already complete. Next is, what are the one to three things I must do on a massive level in the next seven days to close the gap from where I was to where I want to be in creating and manifesting into my life and my business new physical results? And then the last thing is, I want to schedule my priorities. So if I spend all my time collecting myself, writing down my victories, getting clear on my numbers, focusing on my 70, 30, and 90 day goals, and the one to three things I must do over the next seven days, well obviously those items, those actions are my priorities. So what are your priorities? For me, it's my family, it's God, it's my business. Those are my priorities, so I schedule to make time for them every single day. My number one priority actually is God, so I make sure that every single day that priority is scheduled very first. No matter what, no matter what, I will have my time for that massive action of prayer and getting closer to God because it's the most important priority. Number two is it's my family, right? So this one is a little bit of a challenge for some of us because we work so hard for our family, but we end up neglecting our family. So I once had a, a coach, my paper well strategy coach, ask me, what is your priorities? And number two on there was my family. And then we looked at my schedule and guess what was never on my calendar? That's right, my family. So now I made the commitment that twice a month, I put on my schedule very first to go watch my daughter's tumbling at 1130 in the morning. Right? Or I make sure to put on the schedule time I'm going to spend with my kids and my wife together. Got it? So you schedule your priorities. Next is my business. I know the one thing that drives my business the most is me generating appointments. It's my team generating appointments. It's me being on the phones, having conversations with buyers and sellers and agents generating appointments. That's the most important priority. So it goes on my schedule first. After that, it's getting contract signed. So that goes on my schedule second. After that, it's making sure that I'm doing coaching and training. So that goes on my schedule. Obviously, that's going to rearrange with your role and where you change as a business owner. Your priorities will change. But get clear on them and schedule them so that Monday morning, you just take some massive action. Thanks for watching. Click the like, comment, and share button. And make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. I hope this helped you guys out. We'll see ya. If you knew that by waiting, Till the springtime, it would cost you a small fortune. I'm talking fifteen, twenty thousand dollars. Would you wait, or would you do something sooner if you could save yourself that money?